Um, I want Wakanda Forever, and I also want Avatar 2, The Way of Water. So, so let's do, let's get one thing straight. They're both good movies. One of them is better than the other. And which one I think is better than the other, I think Wakanda Forever, despite, obviously, like, Lacking in the graphical department compared to um, The Way of Water is a better movie than Avatar 2 The Way of Water. First off, congratulations Avatar 2 for having, having, for a movie that looks good compared to what kind of forever. But then again, um, Marvel has had CGI issues forever. The MCU has had CGI issues forever. It has not really affected their bottom line. So that, that's not, that's not a be all and all for them. The be all and all for them is just the action and the story. And when it comes to the story, Oh boy, what kind of forever flows Avatar 2's story way out the water. I can even argue that Avatar 2's story is just Avatar 1's story, but with new characters in it. Meanwhile, in what kind of 2's story, everybody feels important. Everybody is wanting the death of uh, Indi Indi and while well, that does play a huge role, while well, it does play a huge role in the movie, everybody seems to be important. I guess the Tolkien story, the Tolkien. They, they could have expanded a little bit on that, but uh, other than that, yeah, other than that, every character felt important. Meanwhile, the only characters that felt important were, were the Solis, and And at times, I don't get it. The Solis went from the land tribe to the water tribe. And despite the water tribe having a few important people, the, the water tribe was there but wasn't there. There were some scenes with them. And then once, once the action started, um, it went back to the Soli, the Soli, the Soli family anyway. And then no one, no one was informed for him, but the Soli family. And you can feel the tension the movie but the action didn't really pick up until until the bottom third of the movie and by that time it was like it was like come on and there was there were spirit spirit animals it was it was cute but uh not even the the spirit animals felt felt important in the long world. There was one spirit animal that that uh, that felt betrayed, that felt like an outcast. They they were building towards towards you know him do that spirit animal doing something important and. 
and saving the Sully family. And then he helped at the beginning of the conflict, but um, the rest of the conflict, he, that, that spirit animal wasn't there. So once again, characters that 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 are try they're trying to build up to something big do nothing. I'm glad that that um that the former villain of Avatar One is back. He's evil, he's he's a badass. And he should be and he should still be a threat. But he didn't really become a threat until the bottom third of the movie. I do wonder what Spider's role is going to be in the future. Maybe a reluctant villain. Like a villain doesn't, that doesn't want to be a villain. He couldn't find it in himself to, to, to kill his father or let his father die. But, uh, That that means that he might he might be given one of those reluctant minor villain roles. We don't know what kind of forever and like Namor was the main villain, but only the main villain because. They needed because of the looming threat of like this war and and the United Nations. So all of a sudden, they're, they're they want they want want Wakanda's vibranium, and you know when nations you know when nations get weapons like vibranium or. Oh hell's gonna break loose. Take a look at take a look at at the war of over natural resources like oil. Hell is gonna hell is gonna break loose. Oh hell's gonna break loose. And Namor wanted Sorry to ally with them and and it was a tense negotiation that got soured because the Wakandan people killed one of the scientists, and and they th and then the Tolopans threatened to kill them, threatened to kill Ironheart in return, wound up killing Siri. And I'm glad, I'm glad uh, there was this huge being back in the ancestral plane. And that scene in the ancestral plane was felt the entire last at the movie until when until the end. Because Because Suri felt felt this he need for revenge. She 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 refused to really grieve for T'Challa. Now now she lost her mother. Now every everything's falling around her, and of course, naturally. The question she has is, do you want to be noble by, like your, like my, like T'Challa, or do you want to take care of business? And she, she was on her way to taking care of business with Namor until, until her mother came, 
it says from troubling to basically stop that. But that's but that scene that scene ended such a way such a huge toll up story. Everyone felt important. Everybody in Wakanda felt like a family. Everybody in Toloka felt like a threat. Everybody felt important. And in the end, yes, they do ally with them, the Tolokan people, but under Sori's terms, not neighbors. And I'm glad that, that they and that T'Challa legacy will continue under his son, uh, whose what kind of name is also T'Challa. I'm I'm glad. I, I like I like what kind of forever. Okay, but uh, just because you like one doesn't mean doesn't mean you think the other is trash. It doesn't mean. It doesn't mean the others bad. I like the way of water. It looks beautiful. But I like but I like the story of Wakanda Forever more than I like the beauty of the way of water. Because the way of water had beautiful scenery but it, it felt long and it was in my opinion, there was not much of a script for the actors and actresses to go on. Meanwhile, a kind of forever, yeah, it's not as visible as as the way of water. And there's there are a few movies that are, that are, that, are, that can match up with the way of water in terms of cinematography, so. That there's no, no shame on that, but I felt like every everybody felt important. Everybody, everybody had a clear role to play. Even, even um, even Everett K. Ross, the the secret agent, even him. I don't feel the same way. With the way of water. It's basically the the Sony family moves from one tribe to one to the water tribe. And after a few scenes with the water tribe, it's it's back to the Son the Sony family being the only important people along with the villains in the whole movie. And that and I think there is, <coughs> I think that's a flawed script, but that's just me. <laughs>